One day Mariano, a middle-aged man, was wondering about where the oil we use to drive our cars comes from. The simplest answer he found was that there was a special oil pool under his feet at the gas station. But he asked himself, where does it come from in nature? Could it have a natural origin? Soon, he remembered that oil is generated from rocks in the subsurface, as most of us probably know. We could imagine rocks located under the surface needed to be crushed into smaller pieces every time in a mechanical way. And then, he remembered that there could be carried rocks that could perhaps transport the oil upwards towards the surface. Again, his mind drifted in a different way and he remembered those ancient creatures called dinosaurs from which we found some bones and he related them to oil generation. Mmm, this idea certainly is more attractive. There were greasy substances into the dinosaur's body and once they died or were killed, buried and just after some years, oil was successfully produced in high amounts and is now ready to be collected. And although those ideas seem to be attractive and worth sharing with someone else, he felt like something was missing. In fact, there is some evidence relating oils and plant remains. Our curious Mariano went through the literature and found that once plants and in general organic material are collected in natural ways, rivers for instance, they are transported and deposited in lakes or seas. Over time, more materials like rocks and other plant remains accumulate, covering and burying by material already in place. This process takes a really long time. With new materials exerting pressure and temperatures increasing, imagine those plant remains being squeezed out in a mechanical press with heat coming from below. That was how Mariano finally understood the process.